In this lesson, we will learn how to prone models in Laravel. First of all, what does prone models mean? It means that deleting unneeded data every regular period. For example, in my database here, I created users, right? And my post is table, okay? And if you notice here, I have three users unverified. So I want to tell Laravel every week run this command to delete unverified user. So to prune model, open the model you want to work on. For example, I want to delete uh, unverified users every week, for example, using commands. And here in our users model, I will create or I will call prunable trait, this trait, right? And to use this prunable trait, we must implement a method called prune or prunable function here prunable right and it takes the condition so i tell him to delete where email verified at equal to null right and to use this prunable trait we must run it in our artisan so php artisan model prune run, let's run it and we have an error we must after implementing prunable method we must use return okay now try again and it works here's pruning records and three records have been deleted you go to my database these three users refresh and delete it if you want to test the pruning after running this command actually here you can use this flag pretend it just testing it will tell you how many records will be deleted after running prune command now let's run again and no prunable models found because all data in our database or all of our users has been verified so if we set it to null for example here this value null save and let's try this here to test what will happen if I or how many users will be deleted after running the command it tell us one model records will be pruned but in actual it doesn't delete it so when I delete we returned one record has been deleted refresh again and here is our model if you notice here in our post table, we have some users or deleted users has relationship with posts and I want to delete these relations first before pruning. So to do that here in our model, we can implement a function called pruning. Pruning and I want to say to him before deleting or pruning it, do something. So while deleting or before deleting, delete posts of that user. Here delete because I have one to many relationship here between user and posts. So if I go to my database users, I want to set this user for null and save and I want to count how many posts this user has my database which we are to send tinker user find this id number six count this posts this user's posts count and this user has seven so here when i running run command this users and also its posts will be deleted right so go here clear run bhb artisan sorry artisan model prune and one record deleted and if i open tinker and post where user id equal to six count no user here if you missed right also 
here in our post I will create another prune prunable and I want to delete inactive posts so here function prunable and return this where active equal to zero in my post table here this one I have active column some posts are active and others are inactive so let's run it again prune php artisan model prune you will notice something here also post and user model pruning has been called what if i want to run a specific prune we can use model flag here to run post is prune only as a string also here post with full namespace by the way post run again and all of our inactive posts have been deleted before for example if i want to delete if i want to delete active uh, posts run again and only specific model whose post has been worked you can also use this commands in the kernel as a console command and you can schedule it for example schedule command any artisan command here php artisan prune a string sorry model prune here and in the secondary you can specify the parameter argument so for example run only model command you can use something like that post right class class and also user class also instead of model you can accept do some exceptions so run all prune for example except it also accept this except flag here is how to prune models in your larva application see you in next lesson